All right, guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of gaming. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, it's on a backbone. Uh, that's the game controller I'm using. I'm recording this on the iPhone 12. In the background, that's my MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got the RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. Besides that, I don't really need this. I'll be playing War Robots. I told you guys, just press B to come out of that stuff. Right, so what I've been doing today, I've been actually giving my robots, um, drones, swapping the weapons, uh, giving other robots... Um, what is this pers periscope thing? I want to know what this ro drone does. Right, let me just go into... Let me read what this does. It says, this drone shoots energy particles at eyelids to repair them. Okay. Um, let me give this one. This is whiteout. This is the one that causes the EMP. I actually found that some of my robots had drones and those robots were not in my hangar. It was very strange, you know. I was going around looking for drones and then I just find that some of these um, robots that are not in the hangars have drones. Right, sorry, I just want to look for um, a happy. The good thing is they now put the, the robot types on the pilots, the legendary pilots. I need to find a legendary pilot that uh, supports happy. I think most of these are with um, uh, pilots, I mean with robots already. Hawk, Shell, Loki, Deathwing, uh, Aojin. This is on Crimson Hawk, Harpy. I need a Harpy pilot. Ah, this is an Orochi. Right. I could use this dude. Oh no, he's in a Nightingale. Right. So I need to find a Harpy pilot. Or a Siren. Because Siren and Harpy actually can coexist. They can work together. You know? Wait, is this guy in He's in a Harpy. Right, this dude's always in the siren. Right. Uh, that's Dementor, Nightingale, Fafnir, Ravana, Erebus, Erebus. Right, let me just kind of scroll through. Some of these are already in... Uh... Wait, what's this for? Orochi? Alright, yeah, I remember Orochi. Hades, Typhoon... Oh, that, this dude is not a legendary pilot. This one is Mars, uh, Erebus, Hawk, Dementor, Dementor, Fafnir, Orochi, Erebus, Dementor, Repair, Modules. This is Opian. Right, Revenant, Revenant. Why is it so difficult to find a... Uh, looking for a Hoppy pilot you see you can use this dude i could use manny because manny can support any robot so he's one of them so he's not assigned to anything so that's a good thing so if i do not find the reason why i want a, um, a happy pilot is because the happy pilot will support everything that happy does you know like weapons and stuff i mean i can use manny for the moment uh but i'm just wondering if I have one, check this out. This guy is, is for Inquisitor, but he's in uh, Techno Scorpion. I'll need to swap him out to go to Inquisitor. I do have an Inquisitor. I'm just noticing it now. Right, let's see. No, none of these are for Harpies. I got two Shenlo pilots. I don't even know what a Shenlong is. Like, I've never used that. Um... You see this dude? This dude is for Inquisitor, right? Uh, I just want to see what his ability is. Right, Kyle's... Kyle Gizmo. That's his ability. Inquisitor repairs a portion of its maximum durability each second. Inquisitor is that one that jumps up in the air that carries four medium weapons. It's Kyle Rogers, Inquisitor. Right, let me find the happy dude. 
No, 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 wait. There, there you go. See? I found him. There. Uh, Yang Li supports both. I will assign him anyway. Because if I come out of this dude, I won't be able to, you know, to do anything. Right, I'll show you now. You see? Uh, Yang Li, Happy, and Siren. And it says here, um, operates uh, Happy. Right, active skills, one of two. Uh, Yang Li's breakthrough, that's his ability. Siren and Happy, because it supports both uh, the Siren and the Happy. Siren and Happy's shots ignore enemy shields while the ability is active. So while you're up in the air, you know, when you're flying, and you do attack someone with a shield, uh, it says uh, invul invulnerable radar, Happy. After capturing a Biki, uh, beacon, Happy has increased defense points for 30 seconds. Right, so the thing is with this dude, uh, while he's piloting Happy and he's up in the air and he's flying around, um, while you're shooting your weapons, the weapons will get through those energy shields. Even if a Titan has shields, uh, it will go through those shields. Right, so all of these have uh, drones. There's a Hangar 5. I don't know if I've got any other drones. Uh, this one has a drone. That's a good drone. I like that drone. Uh, that's a wasp. Another wasp. That's a armadillo. That's a beak. That's a stealth uh, drone. So four and five have, have have drones. I think this one won't have as many drones. Oh, this one's got a wasp. That's good. That's got a wasp as well. The, that's the one with the death. Um, what you call it? The death mark. Ah, that's a drone. Ah, you see? That's a laser drone as well. That's quite cool. That's good. So my, the third and fourth and fifth all have drones. I'm surprised. Right, let me go into this one. The, ah, right. You see? This don't have drones. No drone. Ah, it has a basic drone. No drone. This dude has a wasp. I'm going to swap this out. Uh, I do need this somewhere else. Oh, I've got a periscope. All right. So I'm going to give him this drone, the starter one. So uh, you could say that the second hangar has got no drones. Right. This is the one with three Lokis and two Harpies. I'm just going to go quickly into, right, this drone. I don't even know what this drone does. Let's Let's check it out. This one is a level four drone as well. It says provides temporary stealth uh, where, when provides temporary stealth when its uh, companion robot is blinded. Oh, so it puts your robot into stealth then. It says that this drone increases the output damage of the robot. Uh, the effect is active all the time. Okay, increased output damage. Nice one. That one is called Patron, the drone. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever used it. Ah, uh, that's Periscope. That's the one that uh, heals other robots. That's Beak. Ah, uh, th that's a drone as well. That, that in the old days, this drone would shoot, but uh, they changed that. So it's when the robot's durability falls below 30%, activates Argus. So that's like a shield. You see, they took away the... Because that's got guns on it. They took away the ability for the robot to shoot. So it says this drone's ability increases the robot's durability. The effect is constant while the drone is attached to the robot. So it improves. Wait. Let's see what this does. It increases the robot's durability. It does. It says by 3% extra durability. You see, this, this is the sad thing. This robot, good guy, he could shoot in the past. He was able to shoot those guns. When the robot's durability falls under 30%. Alright, so it activates a shield, energy shield. Right, so you could say that uh, with this one, I could swap this one for wasp. Now let me get this one, periscope. Right. And just to even out things, let me take this good guy thing away and swap it for wasp. Wasp uh, fires, you know shoots see so now if i got through all of the robots they have drones good drones uh so it's the, the first hanger third hanger fourth hanger fifth hanger all have drones it's just these guys that do not have any 
uh, drones. I like to keep, you see, I like to keep one of my, these extra drones there because um, obviously I do not want to, um, no, actually, let's see, that's, okay, so that's one, two, wait, he's got a drone, no drone, uh, so I just need two drones. Right, okay, fine. You know what? I, I know I've got basic drones. I'll give him this drone. These are just this this entire hangar's got basic drones, but at least I can, you know, uh give him a good drone, isn't it? Right. So they're not they're not like really powerful drones in this hangar. This guy's got good guy. Uh these are just basic drones. But at least, I mean, they're basic drones. So in Hangar 2, it's just basic drones. But Hangar 1, um, 3, and 4, and 5 all have drones. Wait, do the Hawks, do these have drones? Oh, they got drones on them. Right, so that's, that's kind of promising on that part. Let's find out what I'm supposed to be doing. Reach uh, leaderboards. Deal uh, 250,000 damage, or is that 2.5 million damage? And then this one, Rich Leaderboards Milestone. Right, okay, fine. Uh, I don't know what the clang thing is. Let me go. Right, no problem. Just gonna go into this thing. I told you guys you have to tap A twice. This will go quicker. Because if you tap it once, it goes really slowly. So it's, it is moving slow, uh, faster. You can tap it again just to make it go a bit quicker. I did check for data pads, but I don't. I don't think I've got any. There's the strange thing about this is actually I got two of those diamond things. Uh, the only thing is in here, I already have good uh, weapons. I'll show you something. If I wanted to swap this weapon, I'll go into the store, right? I just want to show you something. You go into the store. You go into the store and then you can select something else you see this one anti-jamming uh, support if you if i click on this diamond thing because i got two uh, golden diamonds up there i'll get this weapon so instead of spending this on the lottery you can just spend it here that's life saver so i think that gives you life but i'm trying to think what does anti-jammer do it says a defense turret the turret instantly removes the effects of suppression, EMP, and blind from your robot and provides you with long-term immunity from them. Okay, that's cool. That's good. A lifesaver, a defense turret. When acti activated, the turret uh, applies stealth on your robot for three seconds and also gives immunity to defense mitigation for five seconds. When installing several of these turrets, the duration of the applied effects is not uh, cumulative. So it's like, even if you had three of these, you're not going to get more life. That's what they're basically saying. Uh, so you're not like going to be adding more, more, and more, more life. It says app applies, okay, stealth and mitigation. What's defense mitigation? I don't know what this uh, mitigation is. Let's say delay before strike effect duration effect. It says delayed activation. The effect takes place following a period of time after activation. I don't know what mitigation is. And also gives immunity. Okay, 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 fine. Uh, it puts robots in stealth, basically. Right, I like the anti-jamming one. I think the jamming one is good. Right, let me just quickly go into this. I want to see what it's for. Oh, it's for Thor. I've already got Thor. I already have Thor. What's this thing? Right, I'm thinking about getting that uh, thing. The problem is if you spend it in here, I don't use Thor, you see, that's the thing. Um, I I'll show you now, I've got Orion, right? I wanna show you something. I have Thor, Thor's here. But I don't like the thunder strike effect and it does come with two uh, uh, target ray cannons and an Aegis shield. So it's similar to Orion, but I don't like the thunder stri strike effect. I already have it and of course it'll be nice to get those so i can upgrade this store thing i mean this mothership 
but I do not use this uh, this um, this um, mothership. I don't use it. So even frozen scorn, I've got it level 37. It's got Aegis shield, periodic uh, fixation, and Aegis uh, system. But I do not use this. I don't use frozen scorn either. You see what I mean? I've got dreadnought as well. I think dreadnought is uh, level 25. Only comes with one level uh, uh, <laughs> one laser blast cannon. It's got orbital strike, but I don't actually use it. I kept it there because sometimes in the task for all robots, it does ask you to use Dreadnought. Believe it or not, it's just good to have it there. So I would rather, instead of wasting my time going there, I know you're thinking, but you know, you could just get them. I know I could do the components and soil them and whatever, but this is not the time. Wait, what's the blast system? What's this one? Okay, the defense turret. A turret that applies Aegis shields to your robot and your allies in a radius of around two. Right, so they'll get shields. And it only costs one diamond. Uh, but I'm going to go for the anti-jamming and buy this. See? I'm going to replace it. And there you go. I've got anti-jamming protection. And I've got two laser blast cannons. So what does anti-jamming do? If your robot or robots, your allies around you, or your Titan, gets hit by lockdown, that uh, anti-jamming support will actually release your Titan. Like it, uh, it won't sustain as much damage or the lockdown effect doesn't last as long. Plus, this is the one with the energy hole. So when it does hit the ground with these cannons, it causes damage and it slows down the robots. You see what I mean? That's why I'm saying with this thing, it's just best use your diamonds not on the lottery but try and use them uh in a in a position or a place you know that's going to benefit you right so this thing wants me to go higher in leaderboards i want to find a hanger that's gonna let me do that i'm gonna try this hanger i'll be going from hanger to hanger today you know i will try different hangers actually let me start with hanger one and then i'll just gradually go downwards in uh, in terms of hangers you know what i haven't been looking at the modules i did look at the weapons and i did go through all of that but i never went through the modules uh, you know what i was checking on the most i was looking at the modules that um that were on the other robots that i've got and i will show you uh kind of quickly i don't want to like take too long in this because I've got a lot of other robots that are not in the hangars, but I'll show you what I was doing today. Uh, so I actually came into the opium and then I'll click there and you just keep doing this, you see. I was looking for drones actually. Wait, wait, wait. this one's got good guy. Uh, I don't know if I've got another drone. Let's see, can I buy another drone? Yes. And there you go. So I swapped that drone. It's, it's interesting that the drones you will find on the robots that you, you don't actually use right so looking at modules me and drones see i'll try and go as quickly as i can and uh i won't say the names of the robots because that would just take too long to actually say them wait oh this guy actually needs uh the long range weapons right so let me you see this is interesting because it's only when you come in here when you see the kind of pilots, he supports long range weapons. Um, wait, let me see modules. So I'm actually checking for drones and modules. Uh, yeah, and this one, this one needs dot damage weapons because of the kind of pilots. She supports dot damage. So this is just good for me to come in here and check and see if everything else is okay. Some of these don't have pilots, so it doesn't really matter. But the ones that do, and I'm looking ma mainly for modules and I'm looking for drones, but it doesn't mean that I cannot look at the, um, you know, like at the pilots themselves to see if they suit the robot, you know. I know I'm not using them, I get that, but just because you're not using them doesn't mean that automatically, you know, you, you disregard what you're doing with your robot. No, it's it just means that I need to check and make sure. This is Invader. This has all laser weapons from medium uh, laser to 
these are all ardent you know the the, the laser weapons they do damage at 1100 meters i've got different color skins for this uh robot it's the one that jumps up in the air when it hits the ground causes that uh, effect on the ground i'm almost done i'm coming to a close that's uh, all no i don't have inquisitor that spectrum i got them confused right so inquisitor is the one that's got a heavy weapon isn't it i'm going as quick as i can guys i am checking for modules as well and for the pilots to make sure that those pilots do support the weapons at least that the robots are carrying why because this will just be better when i want to swap for them i can swap for them and i can then use uh, those particular uh, robots for what i need right so i need these weapons I'm gonna take these off you'll still have gauss you know you'll still have the gauss weapon see he's got decay and he's got one gauss so it's not bad i need it for that other uh think wait let me take that weapon I can give him one of these because i need it for that lady right this fafnir has got these uh hydras hydra is very good because its rockets will be firing because uh fafnir can fly in the air as well for a long period of time it might be a good robot to use one day you know and it's also a level eight this one's a level nine i can actually put those uh hydras on this one and um wait this these weapons deal damage at 1100 meters they're like sniper weapons as well laser weapons i'm looking for drones and modules um i know you guys are probably looking at these and thinking wow a lot of robots i've never actually used these robots that's the thing right uh i hope i'm almost done i'm coming to a close i think that's mercury so what is inquisitor do i have an inquisitor so I don't know what the Inquisitor looks like. I'll need to go into uh, the store thing. Yeah, wait. This dude needs to be swapped uh, for a... Uh, I've got a pilot, a Techno... I've got a Scorpion pilot somewhere near the end. Wait, that's a Scorpion pilot. No, he's assigned to a Scorpion. Uh, this is the one I was talking about last time when I was looking. You see, it's this dude, he's a Technoscopian. I need to swap him out. Uh, what's this one? That's a Fafnir. Right, I'll give you Manny, actually. Now, Manny is in a Technoscopian. But I saw Manny before. Remember when I was looking for the Harpy um, pilot, and I, I, found, um, I found Manny. He's in a Technoscopian. Okay. Uh, no, he's already in a scorpion. He's in a typhoon. I'm wondering if that many was taken, if I put him somewhere else. No, he, here he is. See? It's better if he has money because then if I ever do get that robot, then I can swap him out. And this one is for Revenant. I don't know if I can... I'll put one of these, you know, these, uh, these kind of pilots. I'll put him in there uh, solely because uh, this I might need him for something. Right, this dude is for Dementor. And uh, what did I put in this dude? Right, I, I can swap him out for... I've got another pilot that's not a legendary pilot. So this will be my second pilot. Because that one I put with uh, Solid Jaeger. So he's with Mercury. And I'll hand him over to Scorpion. I know he's for something else. Uh, wait. It says all active modules on Loki recharge faster. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I, I need to give him back to Loki. Right. Um, I did a big mistake there. Uh, because it's saying something about uh, the modules on Loki recharge faster. So I need to find someone else just to associate. Uh, this guy here is for Skyros, right? I just put him with this one. Right, uh, that's a typhoon. It's got many. A lot of these do not have the correct uh, pilots, right? That's the last pilot. Right, I need to see my Loki's. I think one is missing a pilot. Wait. 
Okay, so I'm wondering. Okay, one of those needs to be swapped. And this one. So why did he say Loki? I don't really get this. I'm, I'm just looking at my Lokis and I can see my Lokis have pilots. You see what I mean? It's, it's just weird. I won't swap these dudes out. Well, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It seems like all my Lokis have uh, have pilots. Sorry if I was using my uh, fingers. It's just like I said. Um, it's good to just go outside of this and to see... You know, I, I need to borrow this. I need to take that out. I don't like this one. I'd rather put the, these armor kits, you know. I don't like those other ones. Right, so I'm going to put it in the Loki. Uh, he doesn't have a speed thing. He's got two cloaking units. I don't know why I was doing this. It's so weird. You know, when I, when I come in here, and I start seeing these, uh, I start seeing the things I was doing before. You know what I mean? And then I'm wondering, like, why was I doing this? You, you, you know what I mean? It's just it's so weird. Right, let me um, go to this one. Right, so he does not have um, this. Uh, a nitro unit. I'll read what it does. Uh, let me let me uh, read what the nitro unit is. It says passive, so that means it's active all the time. A nitro unit. It says until the robot's durability reaches a critical level, the speed of the robot is increased. If the robot is equipped with several modules for this kind, the speed bonuses uh, are combined. Oh wow! So if I got loads of these in a Loki, it's gonna just gain more speed. It gets like a bonus. Right, let me let me do it as well. Do I have anything else? I've got stealth. I don't like these. I always sell them. I mean those those ones that I don't need. Right. Um. Wait, what's going on? Did I take out the nitro unit? I need the nitro unit. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm I'm just I'm I'm all over the place at the moment. Like I said, I I need these nitro units for the low keys. I, I did look at all the modules in the other robots and I found they didn't have the nitro units. See? So he's got several. He doesn't have any. I'm gonna put the nitro unit right there. I I have to you see the, the advantage of looking at the other drones and to find out like um if they had these um nitro units uh i mean these drones the advantage of doing that is that when you do find the modules you need you can use them for the active robots that you're currently using you see what i mean so it's it's just an advantage i think that's why i'm saying it's a good thing to go outside of your your robots find out what they're using and find out what modules they have and then obviously use those uh, modules uh, where you need them to be used in the active robots. Because I was finding drones and modules in robots that I no longer used. So I was going around thinking, I don't have any drones, I don't have any modules. And then I was surprised to find that, yeah, I do have modules and drones in robots that I no longer use. So I'm not saying the robots I have are bad. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just simply saying that you would find that other robots that were no longer in the hangars had these modules and i was like why why are the modules on these robots if i don't use them you know what i mean like look at this one it's got two heavy armor armor kits which is a bit like uh you know like uh, like to me it's like a, a bit of a waste you know like why why put two armor kits on one i mean it's it's me who's doing it but i'm just saying it's, it's strange the way I was doing things before maybe i was trying to make this robot ultra powerful or something you know what i mean but it's, it's just weird right if you if you press on something by mistake just press b uh this is gonna you see it's got a nitro unit i do not want a nitro unit here i need this nitro units in the low keys he's got a balance unit and a cloaking unit let's see what this dude has right it's got a nuclear amplifier the last dude Ah, he's got a nitro unit. I, I want those nitro units. So I'm going to give him 
and I'm a okay. I don't have. A, I'm a play thing. I'm gonna give him this. I'm a kit that's for shielding. Then I'm gonna give him not the heavy armor thing. I'm gonna give him a nuclear amplifier. I'm gonna come out of this for a second. I will come back to this hangar because the armor kits do need to be in the Fafnir's. But I'm just gonna come to it later.